I must say my heart goes out for all of you that we have because this day belongs to you. It is Children's Day. So on this auspicious day, I would like to put across a message about criticism that will be very, very valuable for you. I hope you bear with me for uh, four or five minutes and you listen to me patiently. Look, the entire world of the sea cannot sink a ship unless it gets inside it. Similarly, criticism cannot put you down unless you allow it to get back inside you. The first Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Winston Churchill, said, You will never reach your destination. If you stop and throw stones at every door. So, what should we do when people criticize us? One of the greatest philosophers of this world, Aristotle, said, There is only one way to avoid criticism, and that is do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. And there is a concept in cricket, and you might know it, we call it sledge. Do you know what sledge is? Sledge is where the upper one being tries to disturb you, and they try to abuse you, criticize you, persecute, lampoon you. And there are some players who are adored in the history of people like Sachin Tindulkar and Mahmoud Rizwan. They have never been bothered by snatching, by the criticism. Even if the bother abused them, they do not bother. They do not lose their concentration and attention. So, if I ask you, do you remain cool when someone criticizes you? Do you remain calm and composed when someone criticizes you? No. When someone criticizes us, what do we do? We just throw out. We lose our patience, we lose our control, and we, we indulge in misbehavior. Hey, how do you dare to call me this? How do you dare to do this to me? I'll do this, I'll break your bones. A, B, C, and D. So when a person criticizes you, what should we do? We should not react like this bottle. We should not fall out like this bottle. We should be like the bottle of water. If we open it, shake it, open it, it doesn't fall out. So be calm, composed like this bottle of water. I remember, I have a friend of mine, we are very close, and we have been close since many years. And when we were in the University of Kashmir, one day, a guy came up to my friend, and he told me, Hello, you mister, you know, you are nothing. You don't possess any skill. You have only three things. You possess only three things. Number one, you have got a wrong number. And by the way, his wrong number was 16. And second thing that he possesses, you have a backpack, a bag, school bag. And the third one, you have a wooden bench where you sit. And you don't have anything apart from these three things. 
at that time, my friend, he said nothing. He did not react at the time like that bottle. He kept his cool like this bottle of water. And they began to cry and burn it inside me. He wanted to reply, to react, but he did not. So what he did? He made a promise that day with me in the room. You know what promise was? The promise was, I am going to make myself a genuine speaker, a good speaker, because whenever he was asked for delivering a speech in the class, even in the university, he was not able to utter a single word. Because he was like confidence and speaking skills. So he decided to transform himself, to enhance his skills and be a different person. So after some time, he went outside and he enrolled himself in a course. And on the very first day of that course, you know what happened in Black and Gold? His mentor, his teacher, after delivering a long lecture for almost one hour, he asked all the participants from different corners of the world to get up and share their thoughts. He looked here and there, to his right, to his left, but nobody stood up. In the entire world, nothing stood up. So he realized that this is the opportunity that I wanted to grab. And this is my time, I know, in the heart, of my heart, that my time has come, and it is time to showcase my talents. So he got, he got up, looked here and there, there was no one standing up. So he went up the stage, and he was in the middle of the stage. For the first time in his life, he was going to speak in front of hundreds of students from different corners, different states of the of, of, of India. And he began. He made a dua inside his heart. Oh Allah, help me. I just rely on you. So he smiled. And you know, he kept speaking and speaking and speaking for a long time. And everyone in the audience was mesmerized with his speech. And at the end, when he said, Thank you very much for being patient listeners and ending of his speech, his teacher always died. After two words of appreciation, two phrases of appreciation. Number one, Bahar Achi. Shabash. Shabash, Bahar Achi. And the audience, they kept clapping and clapping and clapping in a couple of lights and said. So from that day on, he did not look bad. He went on and on, and today he is a different person. But remember, he did not react like this battle. He kept his cool when he was criticized. So I leave you, I leave the stage. Saying this, bad person, bad friend of mine, is right now, hello. He is right now waving his hand at you, saying goodbye, saying thank you, Allah Hafiz. Thank you.